Going to the moon. My name is Jenny Fernandez and I'm a recovering addict. When I was 15, I started experimenting with drugs. Um, at first it was just all fun and games. Um, weed and alcohol were always the fun things to do at parties and then eventually um, it got a little bit heavier and harder. I started trying painkillers like opiates, um, which eventually led to trying heroin, which ultimately was my drug of choice. I eventually dropped out of high school and started hanging around with the wrong crowd. I was stealing. I ended up going to jail a couple times, um, disappointing my family left and right. But at the end of the day, I was so addicted to drugs and so caught up in that lifestyle that I didn't care who I was hurting or what I was doing to them. There's been times when I felt like I wasn't cut out to be a mom. Like maybe I wasn't doing the right thing. Maybe I didn't deserve my son. I even felt at one time I should give him up for adoption and let my mom keep him. I reached complete rock bottom in my life and I didn't see a way out. What really happened in my life was there was this little seed that was planted that kept telling me to change. And I don't know what it was in me that even gave me the motivation to want to do that, but I did and I checked myself into rehab. I was only there about a month and I didn't get anything. I was mainly like scratching the surface with the problems and with my drug issues and then I relapsed and I had setback after setback and then I finally got serious about it and went to rehab for the last time. I remember being in my room in rehab and I was detoxing so bad. I remember getting on my hands and knees and praying and I told God, I said, I need you to show up for me right now because if you don't, I can't do this alone. If I don't get out of this, then you can't hold it against me because I'm trying. I went to sleep that night and he gave me this vision. It was probably 10 years down the road from now and I was happy and I was with my son and I was getting him ready for school, but there was like this aura around me that it was like confirmation that it was God. It was, it was him showing me that I can have a future without drugs. It was him showing me that I was gonna be happy, that the depression was gonna go away, the guilt, the shame was gonna go away, that I could have a new life again. After rehab, I was in sober living and I just held on to that. As soon as I got the chance to leave and be out, I came to Elevate again and I gave my life to Christ again because all the times I've done it before it didn't mean anything. I was either doing it for my parents or doing it just because I thought that was the right thing to do. When I was at Elevate again, I remember there was a song during worship and they were talking about chains being broken and dry bones coming to life. I remember them saying, like, this is for somebody, this is for somebody, and they said addictions are being broken today. And I felt, I felt the Holy Spirit come into me. And it's not like, it was like never before, you know, like I've encountered God and I've had moments with Him, but this was like nothing I've ever felt. Um, he comforted me and he told me that I was going to get through this, that he was going to be with me every step of the way, and he hasn't left my side. And now I am on the moon. I'm, I'm here serving, doing what God's calling me to do, being a testimony. I know there's things that happen and even being a Christian and being saved, life isn't going to be easy. There's times in life where it's hard depression it kicks in, anxiety kicks in, and you feel like your faith isn't good enough, you feel like you are not good enough or you're not doing the right thing. And I know firsthand because 
I was in the deepest, the deepest pit. Um, I felt like the gates of hell were all around me and I wasn't going to get out. I don't think, I don't think that I deserved the saving, but God came in and told me I did. He told me my life was worth living. He gave me a reason to live by giving me my son. And that's changed my life and I'm forever grateful for that. Sobriety seems so impossible for me, like something that was completely unattainable that I'd never accomplished. But on September 29th, I'm gonna have two years sober by the grace of God. And if there's anything you're struggling with or if the moon seems too far away, just remember that with God, all things are possible.